Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another StarCraft Remastered Brood War upload! And today it's a game between Sen and Marwin here on Electric Circuit. In the top right hand corner of the map, we have the mm, Peachish Zerg player Sen! Hailing from Taiwan. Also played a lot of StarCraft 2, if you remember some Sen replays back in the early Wings of Liberty days of the game. And in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, it is going to be the Yellow Terran player. Shows up as Narcare here, but it's Marwin from Ukraine. Yeah, I checked out that Smurf list again, which you can search up on the Liquidpedia. Just look for Smurf, and it can tell you who is Smurfing under what names. And this guy is Marwin. Sometimes he plays under Narcare. Narcare, I don't know. I don't even know how to say that, but it's Marwin. So a TVZ here for you today. Very high level from ICC Cup found on BWReplays.com. Should be an excellent one here. Sen has a very nice write-up in Liquidpedia. It says he is one of the few Zergs that have been consistently strong in ZVT, even during periods of Terran dominance. Sen can play almost any way he wants, as he seems equally comfortable with any tech, timing attacks, and harassed-based play. However, he is probably most renowned in the foreigner community for his overwhelming macro. A longtime practice partner of both Day9 and Tasteless, they speak very highly of Sen, who seems always to have more stuff than his opponents can manage to reproduce at the same time as him. Perhaps more so than any other foreign Zerg, Sin is the complete package and a difficult player to predict. Did you, did, you, did you hear those nice words? Those were very, very nice words indeed. I'm very excited. I remember Sin from the Wings of the Liberty Days. Seemed to have disappeared soon after Heart of the Swarm, but that's okay. Let's see. In the beta of uh, StarCraft II, it says he's created with cre er, credited with creating the one base Mutabil versus Terran back in the day, so... That's interesting stuff. Anyway, he's got a spawning pool on the way here. No gas. Interestingly enough, what is he? He's not expanding either. He's going to go ahead and go for a very early push here. Making a, uh, two sets of lings. Zerg Zergling, it says. I didn't realize it said that. I guess Terran SCB, Terran Barracks. That's hilarious. Whereas it very much looks like we're going to wall off the front here with Marwin and then expand behind it. It's very safe to do here on this particular map. I mean, I guess, do you have to worry about this is the question? I don't know. I don't actually know. And there's the expansion. Okay, feeling better about that. Feeling better about the expansion from Sen here. A one base, very quick Ling attack is not going to do a whole lot. And it's not six of them either. It's just the four. But they're heading on out. Oh, that poor SCV. Ju nice juke, though. It does manage to get past them without dying. He's going to go ahead and scout the timing on this expansion. Saying, all right, there's nothing really to worry about there. There's the gas coming on the way for Sen 2. And back home in Terranville, it is a nice wall with a single Marine trying to hold the line. He can't really hold it against four lings, though. He needs some support, which is why another Marine is in production now, according to that production tab up left. And his expansion is coming up here, too. I have sound on, right? Let's see. Somebody shoot. Somebody attack. Oh, maybe not. Hang on. <laughs> He's kind of dancing around. Just to contain. I think he realizes he can't really get through here with two Marines holding it. Just trying to see exactly what's going on. Just going with the scouting. Yeah, there we go. We do have some sound. Link's chasing this SCV around. They are just the tiniest bit faster than the SCV. They don't get a bonus speed upgrade on creep. So the SCV can go around on the creep all it really wants to without really endangering itself in any way. Man, the Lings look just long and kind of creepy. A little bit creepy. Is what they are. Overlord possibly scouting this third base location for Sen. He recognizes the very macro style build out of Marwin. And he's going to go ahead and try to take advantage. Ah, there we go. Never mind. There's a third hatch up here. Up here, just to the left. Just to the left of this main base. More lings are out here, but again, SCV scouts it. Sees, all right, additional lings have been produced. I might need to put a bunker up back home, possibly bring a couple more Marines, but nah. He's got enough Marines. The well, lings can only sneak through this tiny little gap right here. And the Marines are just waiting for that. They love it when Lings come down and arrow choke in that way. Got plus one infantry weapons on the way from the Marwin and Sin. Just working on that third base. There it is, popping very nicely. You just don't get building sounds. I guess there's harvesting sound, though. So that's kind of nice. I'm sure you can hear that very, very nicely. Uh, Going to go for a creep colony. Creep colony here at the natural base with a sunken, just in case there is some kind of a crazy Marine push here in the next minute or so. He does want to be prepared for that. And what can excess this third base can you come up through here doesn't uh no doesn't look like you can can you just wait a second can you destroy this and then sneak up there 
So this is the, one of the first examples of destructible rocks. It looks, it has a health bar. It looks like you can. Let's see if that comes into play. Kind of a backdoor way to attack this third base on this map. And my other question was... Is there anything over here you have to worry about? It doesn't look like it. Based on the way that Marmon is setting up his buildings here, he doesn't have to worry about any kind of attack coming from that direction. It is, yeah, it's definitely a corner of stuff. Lynx checking to see where is there a third base? Is there any kind of a third base at all anywhere on this map? The Lynx don't have speed. Is that true? I'm pretty sure that's slowing speed. I have an upgrades tab. I don't. It looks like he's bypassing link speed entirely he is working instead on missile attacks and a ground carapace for his ground units and it's going to rely on slow links to get through the first couple minutes of this game which can be a little bit scary if a marine medic firebat push comes out at you but uh, he's droning up he's feeling okay about things it's 35 to 41 total supply where indeed marwin has the lead but sends on three bases and that's going to help him quite quite a bit Another drone. Is, are you are you expending again, Sen? You are a crazy person. Wow. He really is feeling his oats right now. He's going to expand along this left side. Check him out. It's a bit of a ninja expand. I mean, you'd think you want to expand down on this right side, which is further away from the Terran player, but this is kind of a weird place to scout. Fair enough. So if Marwin does discover this, I will be fairly surprised. Actually, double expand. He is expanding down the right side as well. All right, so the Lings recognize the push-out is coming from the Terran uh, Marines. Medics and a couple fire bats here. This is a very traditional composition you'll see in Brood War all the time. Additional creep colonies coming up. He's able to respond appropriately to this attack. He is now getting metabolic boost. I don't I don't know why he didn't want it now is the thing. Hmm. Anyway, he's keeping this double expand. He feels like he can hold this even with two more hatcheries coming down on either side of the map here. And here comes the push. Pretty scary, honestly. Plus one attack's done on these dudes. In fact, it is. Stim is done. Range for marine attack is almost done here. And just slow links. Man, these slow links just get absolutely killed here. Marwin. Free kills. Free pickups. Right now is exactly what he wants. Coming from the backside, more slow links. I don't know. Marwin is worried about something. What is he worried about? Go get those links. Go get them. Oh, he's going to get them. Oh, more dead zerglings here. Holy smokes, resources lost is just going to be huge for Sen compared to Marwin right now. I don't think Marwin's lost a single thing at all. Oh, he is going to do it. He is going to attack this guy. And there's a Ling trying to scout this. Oh, good. I was, I was hopefully, I was hoping that we would see something like this. Where this would go down. Man, it does seem to take a while, though, doesn't it? Oh, actually, no. Is there another? Oh, there's just a couple of them here. What the what? This is weird. This is a weird setup. I don't know how they built this. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like an attack up the front. Although, okay, now there are, in fact, six sunken colonies here at the front door. So perhaps the front door is not the way to go. The back door is going to be your way of doing things. But this is just taking a lot of time for the Marwin. I don't know if he wants to do this this way. Yeah, each of these side disruptors are like a quarter of the health of the overall thing. It's really kind of a weird deal also why the heck aren't the marines helping with this if you want to take it down bring the marines too yo they've got a lot of dps so many marines that's a big yellow snake big yellow snake coming across the map here they keep stimming and just going for it it must be it must be that the damage done by the fire bats does a little bit more right than the marines the marines maybe aren't even worth it i'm so confused I'm so confused by this. All right, so now we're down to close 160. We're just watching these guys go. Keep stimming up and getting healed, and stimming up and getting healed, and stimming up and getting healed. And these Marines are just waiting, and finally it's gone. Time to go, Marwin. Let's push. Oh, wait. He juked it. What? <laughs> what was that? He destroys it. Makes the Zerg player think he's going that way, and then pushes into six sunken colonies instead. Wow. He is stimming forward. Against these guys. Hydralisks are here now as well. Spitting out their little acid stuff. Absolutely getting massacred by these guys. They are not doing a whole lot of damage at all. But the sunken colonies are starting to go down. Oh, there was another one. He made another one while he wasn't paying attention. Down to three. Marines are getting healed up very nicely. My, these medics. I don't know what the answer is going to be here for Sen. Maybe he overexpanded a little bit here. This is a pretty scary group. Sure, a lot of people died. 
But Ling's keep popping out, getting absolutely murdered. Another big push coming from the Morrowind. That's a lair. That is a lair that possibly could get taken down. Ling's trying to get on top of these dudes while there are some colony stabbing on them too. Drones trying to fight at the same time, but it's just not going very well at all for the Sen. Sunken Colony does end up going down, I think. Okay, Overlord's out as well. Not going to supply block Sen. Not quite yet. He's got 10 available supply to him. This lair is going to die as well. This timing push just absolutely took Sen completely by surprise. He just has these multiple bases. I mean, what's he building? What does the production tab say? More Hydralisks. More Sunken Colonies. Does he have... Oh boy, I don't know about this at all. This is looking really bad for Sen. Hydra's coming from the left side, trying to bit of, do a bit, a bit of a flank attack. Sunken Colony does pop just at the right second here. Drones trying to distract. Are there enough Hydra's to make this thing happen? I just don't think there are. Reinforcing units continue to come across the map and increasing this group of Marines every single time. Goodbye, Spawning Pool. Goodbye, Evolution Chambers. Sen is in a ton of trouble. He is making additional Hydra's. he got some Hydra's on the back side trying to take down these medics, but no, the Marines turn their attention to them, and they get murdered as well. So we're just, it's a nice little two-base timing attack out of Morrowind that is going extremely well. It's 105 to 50 total supply. Can the Hydra's make this thing happen? There are enough of them, possibly. How are their upgrades looking? How are the upgrades on these dudes? We've got the plus one and the plus two. But the thing is, you need lurkers. If you're going to have this many Marines attacking you, lurkers are kind of the way to go. All right, so he's splitting his Hydras. He's coming from the top side. He's coming from the left side. He's coming from the bottom side. He needs to time this a little bit better here. All right, a couple Marines were out, of, were out of bounds there. We're out away from their medics and could not get healed up. These Hydras are waiting for reinforcing units to come up. But my goodness gracious, look at this absolute train. Absolute train of Marines continuing to push down here. We've got Irradiate on the way. The Hydra is trying to do this more and more, getting a nice surround here. Marines are getting individually focused down. Medics need to die too, but no, reinforcing Marines from the south have arrived. And oh no, it was going so well. It's going so well for a second there, but then 10 more Marines showed up. The Hydras are forced to pop out. More additional Hydras are on the way. These bases are incredibly important. Oh, the one on the right side just got scouted by Marwin. He says, how are there still Hydralisks coming out here for Sen? The answer is because sneaky bases that you are not aware of. Unfortunately, Hydra's continuing to do a pretty good job here. Picking off these medics one by one by one by one by one. There are still a bunch of Marines on the ground, but they don't have any medic support. That is interesting. A lot of medics just got killed. More uh, Marines pushing across the map here. Marwin trying to do this thing. He does have a third base, so it's not a two base all in. I'm not going to say. He's also not sending over anything over to deal with his... Oh, there's a single wraith. There's a single wraith to kill all of these dudes at that base along the right side. High ground advantage here to the Hydralisks. Marines getting absolutely massacred on the low ground and holds it. Okay, so he does hold it temporarily to Sen, but then more Marines joining the party. There are just so many of them, making six at a time. Back home is the Marwin. Ah, production tab for Sen just looks kind of sad right now. He had to deal with this, uh, with this Wraith. A lot of these overlords are going to die. There is a spore crawler here. There's not much use either. Drones here to fight against this marine push as well. Are they going to be able to do it? Absolutely not. Drones versus marines. Not with these upgrades. Not with the plus one, plus one. Not with the stim. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Absolutely going after this third base location. And that's going to be all she wrote. I think it's 31 to 113 total supply. Just an absolutely powerful... Two base marine medic attack with a couple of fire bats. And yeah, the sucking colony trying to do it. Trying to hold it. Can't quite do it on his own. Wait, can he? He does. He does. Wow, way to go, sunken colony. But this is just too much. Look at all of this yellow. Look at all of the yellow. Sending guys down to the bottom right side to kill stuff. Sending guys up to the top of the left side to kill stuff. Send is in this to the bitter end, ladies and gentlemen. Gosh dang, Marwin, you're good at this game. You're ridiculously good. And that's it. The good game out of Sen. Recognizing, all right, you found all my, my sneaky bases. And that's going to be all she wrote. So fantastic play out of Marwin. Just look at this. Look at how many barracks he had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He had eight barracks. He was, in fact, producing another one. He had a starport. He was making a radiate just in case he needed it. He expanded well. And it's just a case of Sen perhaps overextending a little bit here, making too many hatcheries. Not able to defend against that attack. Did not have lurkers out. I think that's the thing he needed, was to have lurkers out. 
when that attack showed up. That's a timing thing. Didn't happen today. Didn't get there. And that's going to be it. So let's go ahead and head on back to the score screen. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, this was just a shellacking out of Marwin here. He ended up killing 215 units. Or produced 215, killed 131, lost 99. I mean, that's a good ratio for sure. Killed a bunch more buildings. Didn't lose a single one in resources. Definitely favoring him as well, despite the fact that Sen had all those additional bases. Just wasn't able to actually use them to the extent he wanted. All right, so that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another StarCraft Remastered Brood War upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter. Facebook, and a Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.